of a collapse of three U.S. banks this month has raised the specter of a looming financial crisis. Earlier, CNA's Roland Lim spoke to Ken Rogoff, who is attending the financial sector conference in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The Harvard economics professor co-wrote a book revealing the similarities in the roots and the aftermath of such crises. Mr. Rogoff says while U.S. regulators stepped in quickly to prevent contagion, high interest rates are also limiting their options. This is just the first one. I'm sure that there are going to be others. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's 2008 redux. It doesn't mean there's going to be, you know, a meltdown financial crisis. Certainly what happened with Silicon Valley Bank is they went big on the response. People worried, worried about moral hazard would probably argue too big. But I think, you know, they've not only cauterized the wound, they've wrapped the patient in bandages. So that's not happening. But uh, certainly there are going to be other things as interest rates stay this high. And I believe they are going to stay high for quite a while. So are you saying that this consequence of SVB, that it may be a harbinger for a broader cycle of delinquencies and defaults? Yeah, not just in the financial system, uh, emerging market debt, uh, corporations, other kinds of problems. Uh, commercial real estate's an obvious thing in the United States. Uh, absolutely. It's been a surprise there hasn't been more. You know, in a way, uh, when interest rates were really low, the whole tech sector was just doing amazing, and it's very interest sensitive. It's absolutely was mismanagement at Silicon uh, Valley Bank. You kind of get the feeling uh, the people who ran the bank uh, were tech wizards, but not financial wizards. So SVB served nearly half of all the venture-backed tech startups in the U.S., tomorrow's Googles or Facebook, if you will. Uh, but what does this mean for the new startups, given SVB's role in you know, venture capital and the private equity ecosystem? So in answer to your question, I think it's going to be a more difficult time for startups for a while until this smooths out, maybe for a long while. And how worried should pension funds, insurers and other institutional investors be worried about having funneled money into the private equity funds area? Well, look, when, again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but when interest rates are rising, you are going to have defaults. There are many, many people in the financial sector elsewhere who are, you know, taking in money short, making longer term investments. And we are going to see, I think, more of these problems. I think, as you said, a harbinger of things to come. Uh, I, I, we still have inflation. This is very different than 2008 also, because in 2008, the real interest rate collapsed, inflation collapsed. That's not happening here. Interest rates are going to stay high. So it means, for example, when the federal government bails everything out, it's not free. Uh, and there you run into more problems. It's not as easy. So on the one hand, they learned the lessons. They're being more proactive. On the other hand, they're more limited in the tools they can use in this high interest rate environment.